ENTPs, it is now your turn for the loop. But first, these are my books that I have written. They're called Friendship Journals. There are three of them, and each one has just unique questions and some activities in the middle. There are questions that are helping you get to know each other, and then also questions that are particular about the friendship. And so you can do this with friends, you can do this with people you're dating, you could do this with your mom, um, or married, or whatever. And it also might be a fun gift as well. Um, link is in the description uh, for purchasing on Amazon. ENTPs, their function stack is extroverted intuition, introverted thinking, extroverted feeling, and introverted sensing. So when they are not in their loop, they are going by their first two functions, extroverted intuition and introverted thinking. And so when they have like new experiences, they can refine it with their introverted into it or introverted thinking. So when anyone is not in their loop, their opposite functions help balance each other out. So it's an extroverted function paired with an introverted function. And so, but when they start exiting out of that and they're going into their loop, they're trying to get a new perspective and... If you get stuck in there, each type starts to obsess over something or a group of things. And so that's where we're going to look at and then some potential ways to get out of it. So when the ENTP is stuck in that loop, um, they start to become obsessed with finding approval from other people. Um, they're no longer being able to really trust um, their own abilities to their own judgment. And so they start becoming very uneasy about themselves and their own choices. They become very sensitive to criticism and also feel like they have some deficiency in some way that they can't quite figure out. And then they start having an image that they're trying to craft and upkeep and to build up to other people's expectations. Um, and so they're no longer going off of what they know is good and true and what they want to do. They start um, creating this idea and image for themselves. And also extrovert intuition provides more outcomes that they start to freak out about basically. Um, and so they're not able to filter through critically kind of like they would have if they weren't in their loop with their introverted thinking. So they need to retreat and be able to focus on known facts and known truths and just ground themselves as well as addressing what is pushing them into the loop. Um, and that can be a variety of things, struggles in business, struggle with people around them, their coworkers, or if they have, they're a boss, um, but they're, they're not quite realizing why um, these different struggles might be happening um, in their lives. And so they might become very much like in their loop. And so they need to retreat, be able to think through um, what's important, stimulate that introverted thinking so that when they do come across new um, stimulus from their extroverted intuition, they're going to be able to hone in <laughs> what is right and truth and factual, but also getting away from the hope that someone is going to be validating them because they need to trust and rely on their own judgment. And so while doing those things, also address and figure out what is pushing you into that loop and work through that. Even have friends to be able to help you work through that or seek a counselor. So that is some thoughts there. And if you're an ENTP, I love you to fill in any gaps. What are your experiences? And also don't forget the books. Um, that'd be awesome if you would like to purchase some. And I'll see you guys in another video or another life. You never know. See ya.